Alright, so hi everyone. I just wanted to give a bit of a like five minute update on the robot project that I'm working on, Ardas. So the latest development is that I have been able to fold in the panels inwards like this. And to get to this point, it's been a lot of prototyping. So this is how it started out. Basically, the panels were attached with um, screws between a flexible piece and then another rigid piece to sort of form an assembly like this. But the problem with this is that um, the screws sort of block how it can fold. So for example, when it's like this, it can't fold anymore because of the stupid screws. And when it's like this, it sticks out way too much. So then from that, I started wondering, like, maybe if it's all being 3D printed, why not just 3D print the whole thing together into one assembly? So this is comprised of three 3D prints. There's the bottom part, which is the purple. Then there's the flexible part. And then there's the top layer, which is the green. So what I do is I print all the flexible pieces first. And then I print the purple. I then glue in the flexible piece. And then print the green piece on top of that. The only problem is that um, this, for thicker pieces, is um, tricky to make it work. And it would be um, tricky to make this on the scale of this inside of the printer. So um, I started thinking about, well, why don't I just make links and then attach them together with snap pieces? But um, it sort of runs into a similar problem. It's very thick when it folds. So when you have two of these folded together, then it takes up space from this central area, which is where the boards will be. So then I combined the two ideas and finally came up with this, which you saw earlier works um, very well for this. So, uh, when it's folded like this, um, at its smallest point, it's only one millimeter thick, which I'm very pleased with. Um, uh, something else that you may notice that's different about this version from this one is that this one I have access to a laser cutter now, so the, um, the side pieces and the base piece are all laser cut. I was also able to integrate the rails into this design. Um, so after it's all assembled, then I can go back and check to make sure the dimensionality is correct. It's hard to estimate it in CAD when you have flexible pieces because there's no real way to do that. So. It turns out that this, that was based off of this, um, made it into a really good thing and um, I'm really excited to actually see what it will all be like with these green panel pieces in um, and how it will all fold because it's never been able to actually fold properly yet. So I'm so excited. Alright, so in the remainder of the 30 seconds, I guess I can show you quickly. This is the motor board that I've been working on. There are some issues with it that I could probably discuss later. This is the sensor board and its components. It's a lot more simpler than the motor board. And up next, what I'll be doing is actually evaluating to see if 
um, high strength PET filament for the snap pieces would be better than PLA so that I know what to print for that. And then um, sort of along similar lines just testing out these three to see which are which is the strongest. I think this one will be, but I'm very curious to see the differences between these two. And of course, finishing all the boards is next too. Thanks for watching. There are some ways that you can um, get involved with this project, um, sort of introductory at the moment, but you can check out my Fab Academy page which has a lot of the documentation up about this and I also posted the project up on fablabs.io so you can see it there too. You can follow it on Twitter at perplexnimbus and it's also on the Hackaday projects 